about it. Um, good afternoon, women in the house, ladies, singles, they're engaged. Um, you're welcome to Women and Investment today. My name is Funke Shobawale. I don't like to use my title so that everybody can be free. We can talk well. Um, women and investment today. In fact, the truth is, sometimes when I when I see most uh, women's experience, I feel I feel very 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 bad, and I just think about the future of our children. That um, because most of the time, I notice that. Um, women don't always think about the future of the children the vision behind this actually is to raise women like me in the real estate sector let's even have a stake in the real estate sector we've we've seen politics we see women in politics we see women in in the medicine field i want to have more women to join me I want more women to join me in the real estate sector. I know what comes to your mind is, oh, Omonile Wala. I don't want a Omonile issue. Omonile can be very funny. Omonile can be this, can be that. Excuse me. Once you have the knowledge about this sector, you will enjoy it. I want a situation whereby we see women that can be architects, surveyor, engineers that when structures is going on it's not just it shouldn't be all about men 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 let even the women come and have stake in this you know that was what brought about this 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 idea and this this vision and over the years i've done my survey and i've noticed that uh, um most women we are we are even we are scared i don't know we we help our husband to manage their money we think of oh okay i had an experience lately with a client a male client of mine and um, you know we got talking he had seen the site he said he likes it and we were just about sealing the deal and he said oh my wife said uh, it's too far it's too this it's too that and i'm like god is it that the woman does not understand because what we tend to do is one push our husband out to go and actually buy the property behind us two you don't know who your husband has taken along with him to go and get that property at the point of filling the form for documentation you don't know the name that is on the property god forbid if any unforeseen circumstances now happens what becomes of you and your children when you have no stake in that property i hope you understand what i'm saying so that, that that's why i feel is high time i believe you know the importance i believe is because we cannot see the future we are looking at the now that's why we are having issues with oh my husband is talking about this property my husband is talking about this let's do our vacation your investment your real estate investment can take care of your vacation can take care of your children's school fee can take care of everything you think of that is actually your fear for instance like i was like like i was citing earlier for instance you don't know your husband i told you the first one the first offer you rejected it your husband told you about the second offer you rejected it he won't tell you about the third offer what he will just do is hello okay being bola Johnny allow you're welcome thank you for joining me victoria Kerele. thank you for joining me oh uncle femi from uk thank you thank you for joining me okay as i was explaining your husband has gone with a friend one what happens is why he was filling the form fine he might put his name what of the nest of kin what name do you think it will be there so um, I'm actually coming to wake we women up. If one, you have actually relaxed in that aspect. Tonight, go back to your husband. Thank you. Thank you, my uncle. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you're online with me. Thank you. Oh, my friend, Funke, thank you for joining. All right, as I was saying, what that means is if the unforeseen circumstances happens, the property 
does not belong to you. Excuse me. What name is on the documents? Because sometimes we women, I, I, I just, like I said, today I just want to open up our brain. I want to open up everything about us. When you hear real estate investment, when you hear land, when you hear properties, I don't have an issue with a woman buying a hell of 200,000. But you see, life are in stages. For instance, when they give birth to us, you're a baby. You go to the stage of teething, you go to the stage of crawling, you go to the stage of working. Everybody wants to be like for Lauren Shalakija today. Oh, she's my in fact, she's my mentor. But have you gone to see what for Lauren Shalakija has done to get to that stage? Do you know the investment that she has to get to that stage? Do you know what she has gone through to get to that stage? For Lauren Shalakija can wear clothes of one million naira today. She has worked for it. Your real estate investment can take care of that for you. Like I said, I don't have issues with women buying air of 200,000, but you're still single, you're not married, you're earning good money, and you're buying a hell of 200,000. Okay, you're buying a hell of 200,000. Show me how many properties you have. Show me how many landed properties. You, if you have none, then you need to go back to your drawing board. You just have to go back to your drawing board. Because that is what secures the future of your children. Anytime I see old men, old women go line up for pension, you know, they are just there. Before you know it, they will lock the gate on them. It's because if they are planned for their future before now, they might not, they might not experience that. And that is the truth. This is an investment where, like I said earlier, one, you can, you can just buy a land somewhere and the, okay for instance the ikeja the allen that we know now i remember that i met a woman that has a house on Harlem. okay chikodi thank you that's my lawyer thank you for joining me thanks so much i really appreciate it okay she bought the land on this island yeah she bought it five thousand era early 70s seven in fact she told me that when she bought that land her husband didn't see it our husband almost beat her up that why would you use the 7,000 that we're going to use to eat? Why would you use it to go and buy a land? And she said, hey, my husband, in fact, they called family members to come and settle the matter. As I speak to you now, now, do you know how that woman planted that one plot of land? She just built a small BQ, beautiful BQ behind the front. She now made it as... Uh, office space for flats and each of those flats they go for 1.5 million per annum all our kids are in us and i said mommy i want to know more about this tell me your secret she said my dear what you are seeing in front is my secret that is what i used in sending my children to school is what I use in ensuring that they travel abroad to get better education. And you know, just two weeks ago, Governor Amber, they still said it in a conference, that Lagos State is in itself now is planning to make um, room for one million houses every year in the next 10 years. Okay, thanks, my sister. In the next 10 years. So tell me, how many real estate firms do we have? Even Lagos State cannot even accommodate all the housing deficits that we have in Lagos. We are talking about Lagos now, not the whole of Nigeria. So imagine if we now have women having stakes in this sector, women coming up to join me. Oh, like I said, for instance, for those that, oh, I'm scared of a money leg, I have my money. Your money can work for you. Your money can work for you. Let me cite an, another example of a lady that, in fact, that I know, I actually knew her through a friend. Oh, my pastor, thank you for joining me. Yeah, me see you where? Yeah, thank you. It's nice having you guys around. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you so much. You are really encouraging, and I love that. Thank you so much. All right. I, I, like I said, I have a, a friend, a friend's friend that earns 600000 You earn 600000 You went to rent a two-bedroom apartment, a lucky face one. You're paying a rent of two million serviced apartments, and you're still going to pay for those service fee. You're using the best of the best car. 
And you know, my friend kept telling her, my friend kept telling her that, hey, oh girl, you need to have an investment. You just have to have an investment. And she said, eh, my husband will take care of that. I know that my husband, no, 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 he's my future husband, I'll take care of that. She said, okay, no problems. Do you know today, that lady was sacked, was it two months ago? She has gone back to level zero. I mean zero. She could not maintain the car. The landlord keep coming for service charge that she usually pay on the platter or go. She could not. That your human hair. If you go back to the market to sell that human hair, you can never sell it at the same price you bought it. That car is now second hand. In fact, it's now Tokumbo. If you had bought it for five million. The price you they will want to buy from you now, maybe they will be telling you 2.5, and you still have to beg them, beg them to buy at that price. She has gone back to level zero. Imagine, and I now did an analysis on that lady. Imagine me, any 600,000 naira. Even if it's 300,000 naira, I can save monthly. 300 times 12. I did the calculation, I think it gave me 5.2 million or thereabouts. 300 times 12, that will give me a plot of land. I will build four flats on it, two, two bedroom each up, three bedroom down. In fact, I will even ensure that my tenants are paying six months interval, a year interval. That will take care of all my expenses. I don't need to think of, if my salary will be an added advantage to me. It's high time for us not to be depending on my salary, my salary, my salary, because we are not thinking of, oh, what if, especially one-man business, you're not thinking of, what if the, the GMD comes to there and says, okay, I don't like your face again. Can you please leave my company? What happens to you? And for we that we are married, you even have a husband that loves to invest, that sees investment has as the only, because he's not even saying it as the only futuristic um, investment you can think of now, worldwide, not even in Nigeria alone, not even in Lagos alone. Do you understand? And the husband keeps telling you, my wife, hey, let's buy this property, let's buy this property. And you're saying, no, no, I mean, remember our vacation. Remember the children needs to go and watch Destiny Junior. Your real estate investment can take care of all those your vacation. So women, I just want us to, I want us to see it as um, another avenue for us to take charge. We are the engine room of our husband. If you want to get 5 million from your husband, you know how to do it. Even if your husband is, okay, like I spoke to a sister last week, she said, oh, that me, I am investment conscious, but my husband does not like anything that has to do with property. I just told her, you know what you're going to do? Just look for something. And tell your husband, oh, honey, I want to open a shop. I saw an offer. Oh, I want to go into this business and I think it's good for me. Collect those money. Buy property. Build it up. On his birthday, that should be his gift. He will love you forever. One, you have done what he has seen as, no, this is not, this is not an investment that can actually thrive in this nation. Two, you have changed his mentality about investing in real estate. Three, you have secured the future of your children. Women, we need to wake up. It is high time for us to wake up. We can live all those good life if we can sow. You know, when you sow a seed, there's a, there's a process for it to get to the stage where you will reap it. A process why the seed is on the ground, a, pro a process why it's still trying to form itself to come out as a tree, as a leaf, before you can now start getting the, the, the harvest. There's a process. Thank you, my brother. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really, I'm really happy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So as I was saying, like, like I said, men are already, most men are already in this sector. They already know about this, this real estate thing. But I need more women to join me. I just need more women to join me. Let us have stake in this in this sector. It's a very inter interesting sector, lucrative. In fact, these are these are investments that when you have them, you think less. We have the short term, we have the long term. The short term could be okay. 
or I, somebody offered me a plot of land, the location actually also matters because it's the location that will determine how fast the appreciation will come. You understand? For every location we get, for every location you are being introduced to, there will always be a development. In as much as somebody can just build one, one bungalow, it means a presence has gone into that location. And everybody is actually waiting for somebody to just take a step. You can be that person. You can be that person. Women will be hearing Ibejuleki, Ibejuleki, Ibejuleki. Some have even heard of Shongote Edo. Some have even heard the history of Leki Face One. Lately, I was I was listening to um, Pastor Paul Adefarasi. I was listening to one of his messages talking about the value of real estate. Look at what happened to him. The dad bought a property then on Banana Island. And the property, they didn't even see it as nothing. But when they had issue, that property took care of that issue, that financial issue. They even had extra that is far beyond their imagination. That is how far real estate investment can go for you. That is how far it can go. Women, I am begging us in the name of God. We need to secure these children's future. We need to, we need to let them know that, yes, their, their mom and their dad loves them. We need to let them have, when, they are, when other children are talking, they should be able to talk. Sometimes I feel so very sad when I see um, a family that maybe the wife that the husband dies at the long run, you, the wife, you are not interested when the man was talking about property. Now, he didn't have the opportunity to write a will, okay? You don't know about the property. A friend of his knows about it. A younger brother, a younger sister of his knows about it. At the end of the day, when they now come, you don't have anything to fall back on. But that younger sister, that younger brother, that your, 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 your husband's friend, already takes that on a platter of gold because you were not in the known. You don't know anything about it. But if you know from the process of filling the form, you ensure, most of us, you know, when we buy properties, we are carried away by, oh, network, connect. okay, Mr. and Mrs. Olatunji, Mr. and Mrs., oh, we are Mr. and Mrs., yes. I'm not saying you are not Mr. and Mrs., but wisdom is profitable to direct. Anytime you want to have a property with your husband, women, listen and listen good. If your husband had had property before today's talk, go back to him. Like I said, we are the engine room. You know how to enter. Go back to him and ensure that the proper thing is done. Do you understand what I'm saying? You go back to him and ensure the proper thing is done. If it does in Mr. and Mrs. Olatunji, Mr. and Mrs. Owoko Nero, excuse me, let us go back. Ensure it is Mr. Tunde and Mrs. Oyi Owoko Nero. Then the next of kin should be your children. What that means is if the unforeseen circumstances happens today and you now have very wonderful in-laws that what they are after is your husband's property, they are after this and that, you just relax. Relax your mind that property automatically belongs to you. And I mean you, you, you and you and your children alone. But if in a situation whereby you don't even know, you don't know anything about that property and the unforeseen happens, you will now go back to square one. Women, we need to wake up. That gorgeous air you want to wear, you can wear it when you have investments lining up for you in fact you can even plan your investment like i said we have short term we have long term you can plan them let your short term take care of all your needs let it take care of your children's school fee let the long term take care of your vacation and reinvest and reinvest them okay i also read a story of a guy yesterday while I was preparing for this show, I read a story of a guy. He said at the age of 19, he earned his first $1 million on property. That's, he used to be a marketer. He earned his first $1 million. Then at the age of 22, he had $5 million. He traveled to UK. He called his mom. He said, Mom, please, I was told that there's a land um, 
at um, Awoyaya. Please, can you help me get it? It's five million. And the mom is an Ijebu woman. He said, okay, no problem. You just send the money. Do you know what the woman did? Those are women that are thinking. Those are women that knows the worth of real estate investment. Do you know what she did? She just went to a better. That five million took care of three plots of land and she built a massive four flats. Three bedroom hall, two bedroom down. She now built a small BQ that, okay, since anytime you come to Nigeria, you're always lodging in the hotel. You will stay in the BQ. The woman didn't tell the son. He now came home. Please, I, okay. Sorry about that. It's just a um, network issue. All right. So the, when he came home, he saw it and he, he, he was shedding tears. He did not believe it. In fact, the woman had kept 10, 10, 10 million naira already for him from the rent she got from those houses. So what are we saying? We need to wake up. I'm not saying, for me, I used to tell people, if today God gives me one billion naira, listen and listen good, I can't wear 200,000 naira a week. Yes. Write it down. Cut me. That Funko Shopa Wale said. I cannot because I am already thinking of what to do with that one billion. I am already thinking of what that one billion will bring for me in the next one year, in the next two years, in the next four years, in the next five years, in the next ten years. If you don't want to go into it, like I said, you can come as an investor. We, we, we can lecture you. We can tell you what. In fact, what you can do is, for instance, you keeping your money in the bank. I don't keep money in the bank. In fact, you can't check any of my bank accounts and see 50 cover there. Because bank, what they do is they help you invest your money. So why can't I do that myself? I have $5 million. I'm going to keep it in the bank. What is it doing there? When I can go to Ikorodu, where people are looking for shit, my 12 i can buy i can buy five five of those shops or 10 of those shops that they pay me monthly they pay me every month every six months every year that will take care of my bills it will take care of my bills women i am begging us for the sake of our children for the sake of the unforeseen circumstances you're going to live that beautiful life you want to live i can assure you I can assure you that you're going to live that beautiful life you want to live. You're going to live it to the fullest. I want a situation whereby when we grow up, we are sitting and we are resting our back and they are saying, Hello, Kate Kaolu, how much have you collected from the house in Lekki? Okay, you have five million with you. How much have you collected in the house in Banana Island? Okay, you have one point. Do you know we have land in Banana Island that is going for one billion? And on a daily basis, you see people requesting. In fact, just today, because there's a real estate forum I am on, just today, I still saw a request. I saw urgent request. A client needs a house at um, Banana Island, open budget. Some will even tell you my budget is 250 million, 250 billion. And these are people's wife, people's husband. They are doing this. And we cannot leverage on it. Women, it is high time for us to wake up. I am the agent of change. I have come to bring that change into, into this real estate. And I want us to do it together. It's not going to be about me alone. It is not going to be about me alone. It is about me. It is about you that you're listening. It is about you that you're watching. You just need to take that bold step. So that at the end of the day, we can have a great our children. The future is very, very key. It is time to start that investment. The time is now. The time is now. We just read um if I have any comments right now. Let me quickly see if I have any comments. Okay, Remy, thanks for coming on. Oh, my dad, thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming on. Okay, um, okay, I don't have any questions now. Okay, let me just go to um other points okay um most are okay 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 let me go to the other point it's time secondly it's time for us to have multiple streams of income oh thank you my uncle thank you so much thank you thank you so much it's time for us to have multiple streams of income it's very necessary as a woman or oh, you're a banker you don't want to you don't want to go into real estate you don't even have a knowledge you don't know anything about it come 
we can we can we can put you through your money can work for you while you are on your paying job you can also have other investments behind that is giving okay for instance bank will just come it's just for you to log into your system and you can see that you can't sign up and you are wondering what happened you know, just tell you sorry your service is no longer needed so all the money you have made in the bank what had happened to it for those of us that do save i tell people saving in the bank you are making the bank richer you are making Make yourself richer. Make yourself richer. It's just, it's just for you to take that bold step. Even the food we eat, you know, some, some of us women, we are scared of the risk. The food we eat, it is risk because one, you don't even know where they process that food from. You don't know the leg and the hand that's entered into that food. It's just that you are seeing the finished product and you're like, wow, this food is beautiful. This ride is delicious. This spaghetti is awesome. But you didn't know the process that food went through. So life itself is a risk. So it's high time for us to take that bold step and just take that little risk. That little risk. A lot. A whole It can save a lot. Um, okay. Three kids, you need to take care of the kids. Okay, let me. You know, if the smoke will be too much, this one, that one, the traffic on that road. Do you think um, Governor Ambode does not know what he's doing? That place is called Ekoibeng, the new Lagos city. Most of us, maybe it's because we don't go out. We need to drive down to that axis. Dangote Refinery is going to start in 2019. It's going to accommodate 250,000 employees where do they want to live where do they want to live and you already know that anywhere you see dangote anywhere you hear dangote women listen anywhere you hear dangote or you just feel dangote's presence in there if you have any opportunity to have a plot of land or a property grab it I mean, grab it. Ibejuleki now is going to be another lake, in fact, finer and more beautiful than another lake, lake face one that you used to know. Those are places that, because location also matters. Location will determine if it's going to be a short term investment or a long term investment. Location also matters. For Ibejuleki now, you can't tell me you want to buy a land in Ibejuleki now and you're thinking of selling it in the next one here. You won't really get much. I'm not saying you won't sell it for a good price, but you won't get much. But leave such land to that same year that Dangote wants to start his refinery. As we speak now in Ibejuleki, you can hardly get a land with a good title for 700, 800. Hardly. As in, it's very rare. Even though Molile is not. happening here even on how much more we are educated 
and you can so investment does not restrict your class investment across the low class the middle class the upper class it gets me worried as a single lady you are into whatever you're doing maybe okay let's even as you are claiming that there's no work there's no business you are sleeping with a man to get your money at the end of the day if tomorrow the man's wife because she has been on the mountain she now prays there's nothing between you and the one investment to fall but actually fall back on that app. I used my head, I used what do I fall back on? Oh I see a property like at least a song fall back on but in a situation whereby there's nothing to fall back on. What happens? Your body there's no there's no thing coming in. You have time how much more we that we are now married your husband that is getting a job like a Funke, listening to one of our messages, so the other way around. But she was, she was, what exactly is bad? Your husband should ask you. A lot of one millionaire check from you. In fact, he, pam, 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 he gets that. The man will respect you more. He will love. That no, my wife is not. She she she's actually planning for me. She she's not a woman that will just sit on my money and feeling comfortable. So women will even say, "Oh no, my husband is the one that will carry the the way the children's future. Let him be. He's not my headache. Why did he marry me? Okay, sorry, oh madam, because he has married you, so you should be help it instead of help me. You're supposed to be the help me of your husband, not help it." Don't eat and go and eat your future. Don't eat and go and eat your children's future. It is time to start now. And the time is now, not tomorrow. Because tomorrow you might go back there to that offer you got today and it's no longer there. It is no longer there. I want more women on this platform, in this sector. Let us have stake. Let us see that when they are building a house, it is a woman that is controlling. They say, no, no, and no, this is the way it's supposed you know, put that block. Okay, this ground supposed to craft foundation. Get to that stage. I didn't just just grow. I didn't just see myself in this stage. You know? I grew. I read books. I read people that I knew it. I was learning on this. Job. But the little I learned, I felt it is high time for me to pass the message across to our women out there. In fact, there was this client that one of my one of my staff met. She resides in the US. And when we told her about our property in the Bejile, that is 2.5. She said, oh, 2.5. It's so cheap. It's the money that people use in Dublin, in US, parties and all that. So I went ahead, I said, maybe 2.5 foot. Even if I have billions of dollars, I cannot buy it. I cannot buy it because two point five give me a plot of land. I mean, three, four plots of land in Ikorodu. Forget whatever is happening. There is no way that things don't happen. Some people say no, we can't go to Lebanon. They said it's swampy. There is land, land, water. You will be looking at. As in, you'll be looking at real water. That land is one billion, and you still see five people coming for. Then it's time for us to. We need to go back. But we need to. Go. In fact, let's go. Those two that I mentioned your category to cook a very precious food for your husband, and romance is. I see my husband. After one of my friends. Talk about a land or at the Bejuleki, you know, you just be looking at Bejuleki, you know. Because remember, you told me about one, then have you see it? If he says, yes, but oh, let me even see, let me go through it. Once you see Mr. Zolai Wala, oh, you know how women are, you know how we get what we want. You can get it and change it and perform 
the document and let it become what you want it to be. That was your, your, your children's future and your future and your good. I have come as an agent of change for women. I'm sorry, men. I'm not being sentimental. Business cut across. But the truth is very bitter. Thinking knowledge as about rights. So that's why quickly, not particularly not because uh, men are actually to it. We still have some men that don't anything about real estate in We still have them all over. But I want a situation where women should come on board. Let's come on board and talk business. When there is a gathering of female. And I was like, hey, Jesus. I was the only female. But I thank God this is coming now. This is the time to change. By Thursday, you feel free to chat me up on WhatsApp. I have my WhatsApp number on the hard part. I can also call it free. My WhatsApp number is 0962 You want to chat with me, you don't want talk to me you have one money that you've kept somewhere one money hanging somewhere you don't know what to do about it you're just looking at it and you've heard this today come let's talk i will show you the way it is still for free now it's better you leverage on the opportunity it is still free now there's going to come to a time whereby you have for this because i paid my way through so it's going to come to a time is going to come whereby you're going to pay for it. All right, you can also um, hook up with me on Facebook. We can chat on Facebook. Okay, chat with me on Facebook. Chat with me on Twitter. Let's talk. Let's get talking. Let's get talking. Let's let's have more women in this real estate sector. Okay, meet me same time on Thursday, twelve thirty. Again, meet me same time. Don't mind all this, my stuff. They know how to this. Don't mind. <laughs> all right. See you guys later. Bye. Okay. All right. I want to also appreciate all my people. Remy, thank you. Uncle Femi, thank you so much. Bolaji, thank you for coming in. Um, Jola Osho, thank you for joining. Um, Oyi Damola, my wonderful GM, I love you so much. My CEO, I love you. You're the best. And my barista, Chikodi. In fact, these people. In this real estate sector. By same time on Thursday, see you then. Bye.